This tutorial will describe how to use your library account in Sage's Evergreen Catalog. You will learn how to log into your account, how to request a book, and how to save a list of books using book bags. There are several access points to log into your account. You can log in here on the basic search screen, here on the search results screen, or when you click to request a book. Let's say I want to find the book Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen. I will use the title and the author's last name as a keyword search. Apparently my library does not own this book. Fortunately, as a Sage Library patron, I have access to all of the Sage Library collections. To search all of the Sage Libraries, you can click here or you can choose a specific library from this list. There are several different versions of the book, some of which are sound recordings. You can request this book right here in the list of results, or you can choose the one you want and click on the title to get into the record. To request to borrow this book from another library, just click Request at the top right. Now you will be prompted to log into your account. If this is the first time you are logging in, use your library card barcode exactly as it appears on your card. You may need to check with your library about your default password. It might be your last name, your birth date, or part of your phone number. Once you click Log In, you will be prompted to set up a new password. Then you will get to the request form for the book you are trying to request. There are several things you can adjust here, such as the type of notification you want to receive when the book is ready, and the pickup location. You will see this message when the hold has been placed. When the book is ready to pick up at your pickup library, you will get a notification by phone or email according to your preference. Let's take a look at the details of My Account. At any point, you can click on My Account to get your account details. This is the account summary. Here you can change your username, password, an email address. I'm going to change my username so the next time I log in I won't have to use my barcode. These are all the links you can click on to look at different parts of your account. For example, if I want to check when some books I've checked out are due, I can click on Items Checked Out. This shows me any items I have requested, fines I may owe, and my account preferences. My Book Bags is a useful feature that can allow me to keep track of books I want to read or create lists of books for any reason I want, such as lists of titles I want to recommend to a friend, or to keep track of books in a certain genre. For example, this book is about the circus. This is a subject I enjoy, so I'm going to create a book bag called Circus Fiction. Go up to More Actions and click on the drop down arrow. I haven't set this book bag up yet, so I'll click on Create a New Book Bag. Give the book bag a name and click OK. Now I can go back to More Actions and select the name of the book bag I want to put this in and the item will be added. Book bags are really just lists of books that you manage. 
just another way for you to keep track of books. Note that you will only see this menu when you are logged into your account. Remember, you can use your account to manage items checked out, request books from other SAGE libraries, and to keep list of books with book bags. This concludes the My Account tutorial.